up, YouTube bitch boy, the franchise guy. We are coming at you again with a brand new episode of our NHL 21 franchise mode featuring your Dallas Stars. Last episode, we won in overtime. Steven Stankos returned to Tampa Bay. Your Alice of Askarov's in that. No more. Your uh, Adam Huska. Uh, but we have an answer to be this game, guys. Theo Rochette. I hope that's how you say his name, that's what I'm going to call him. He's playing on the third line this game. Third line, right wing. Unfortunately, he's only a center, but we didn't really have a spot for him anywhere else uh, where he would have fit in and given the plus one boost. But he's an 81 overall. Uh, the AI uh, recommended him to actually start the season off on the NHL team, but we just wanted to give him a little more seasoning. You know, just... Make, he's like a cake. You know, just want to make sure you firm up that cake a little bit. Like, he probably could have left it out and would have, you know, done it on its own. You know, would have finished cooking, you know, just by sitting out. We just want to make sure it, you know, the toothpick of the brownies just slid out with little to no resistance. No goop left over. Uh, but, you know, if you guys missed the last episode, check out that episode. It's an insane ending of an episode. Uh... Especially with Stamco spending uh, so much time in Tampa Bay in his career to come back and just to do what he did to his former team. Absolutely insane. Uh, but now take on the Maple Leafs, who are one game above 500. The 13, 14, and some extracurriculars for the. Uh, not the whatchamacallit, for the uh, overtime losses. So, I mean, they're not they're not a bad team. They're just not as good as our team. But I think we fell off a little bit. We're 16-9. And we have a couple extra curriculars for the overtime losses. And a big goal for the captain. Oh, captain, my captain on the goal right there. Elvis Morsleek. And did Elvis has left the building, baby. Tenth goal of the season for the captain, Jamie Ben. I mean, as long as his assist numbers are fine, I really don't mind his goals being only at 10 so far. Uh, last episode, we did get our seventh goal of the season with Victor Von Doom, Victor Rask. Guys, if you guys don't know, I call Victor Rask Victor Von Doom because it's Victor. Why else would I not call him Victor Von Doom? Oh, I saw Lindell just loses in transition. Uh, big D right there. Theo Rochette without a nickname yet. So, guys, comment down below what the nickname for Theo Rochette be. Oh, boy, did we just... Ran into a bad spot. Dump that back. Just reset. Oh. No. Ooh, that's... Alright, big D with it. Yeah, that's... Ran right into that hit. Alright, good thing Good thing we just ran into uh, Rasmus Sandin trying to shoot that puck. Because as a defensive defenseman... Uh, I'm not super worried about his offensive abilities, but NHL 21, you never know. Askarov uh, holding that one off right there. Oh, I have three overtime losses. 41 points in our first 29 games. Uh, so what, 41 of 58 total points? Not too bad, I feel like. Uh, tops of the division, so we're doing pretty we're doing pretty good with the whole hockey thing, apparently. Uh, the one one problem is, you know, the last couple seasons we've made some pretty some pretty fire trades at the trade deadline. We acquired Dougie Hamilton. We traded away Dougie Hamilton. We traded Robbie Fabry. Well, we're at the time where we're right at the position now with our roster where we really don't have any glaring holes. I know we're not quite a trade deadline yet. That's definitely a next week episode uh, when we get to the trade deadline. But, um, yeah, I'm not really sure we're at a position right now where we need to bring anyone in. You know, our second line's, yeah. Yeah, bad trip right there. Jamie Ben. All right, bad trip right there by Jamie Ben. Um, what am I saying? Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure we have anyone to trade for. I mean, maybe some slight defensive help, maybe a replacement for Julius Honka. I mean, Honka is a free agent. This year. You're not sure if we're gonna bring him back. Someone uh, may a little may a veteran who's on a long term deal for like three million a year, two million like two point five, three maybe four at most a year. Um, 
to pair up, like a, like a top four guy, play him on the sixth, uh, third line for defense. Ooh, yeah, we almost just Sergachev'd ourselves. I think Doug Hamilton did it to us one time, too, in an episode. He uh, owned goal us, and I think we lost because of that goal. Or at least we would have been tied if um, we didn't, if he didn't uh, own goal us. It would have gone probably to overtime. Nice. High skin in with that. I mean, high skin in last game. Super, I mean, actually not super early. Uh, I mean, one second left in the game had a... Uh, had a game misconduct. And he was done for the game. Our, uh, this is our second line defensive pairing, technically. But still a big part of our defense. Come on. Ooh, come on. We're doing great. There we go. 46 seconds left. Oh, Tavares picks that one off. Ice skin in. There we go, Rochette. Dump that in, please, and thank you. 22 seconds left in the period. Good old Big D, Brant Clark, just on an island by himself. There you go. That's what you draft that guy in the first round to do. Good old Big D with that stop defensively. Morgan Ryan with his own goals himself. Ooh, ooh, nice, nice stick save by Yaros Vaskarov, because I overcommitted on defense. Uh, definitely overcommitted on defense. All right, we got this. Come on, boys. Let's go, boys, girls, and everyone else. All right, Faxa. Oh, we're we're doing great. All right, Klingberg. Ben with it comes out of the box, gets the puck. Oh, it's just right for the goal right there. Can you imagine? J. Ben gets out of the puck, gets the puck on the breakaway, and just rifles a goal right there, makes it 2 nothing in favor of the Stars. Do I just steal the Thunder from Theo Rochette, J. Ben, if you just did that? Too bad you missed. Alright, Tyler Sagan. Good old John Klingberg. Oh boy, they're playing some real gross. I, I hate the defense in this game. Or. Er, what the AI considers defense, as it's just them swarming your guy. You can't get any form of room. Like, how's also how else are you holding me against the wall like that? Like, you have my one shoulder, I guess, pinned to the wall. But outside of that, you're you're not really you don't really have me constrained by anything. Ooh, big goal for the captain again. There you go. Dude, so nice he did it twice. His 11th on the year. Nice goal right there for the captain, Jamie Ben. Yeah, speaking of uh, points for different players, I was looking at um, who's leading our team in points. And uh, at 28 games, uh, Steven Stamkos has 60 points. He had 16 goals and, like, 44 assists. I think it was. It might have been. I think it was 60 something points. It might have been 58 points. It was. It was just absolutely. It was just gross. Like it was gross. The fact that uh, the Lightning let go of the, definitely the best player in their franchise's history. Rootmeister, Root baby, Root daddy, dude. Look at that. That's awesome right there, dude. We're breaking this game wide open. Root bay hints his. 11th on the season. So two players hit 11 goals this game. Rupe, there you go. Steven Stamkos with that assist. All right. Theo Rochette, dude, you need an assist. You need a goal. You need something, brother. All right. We've lost our screen again. Yeah, the one thing I'm waiting for is to do, like, a breakaway, and uh, my screen just cuts out. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. Definitely botched that one. Come on. Nice, nice, nice. Nope. Alright, Brant Clark, pick that up, please. Six minutes left. It's like, it's like seven. Six and a half, seven minutes left. Is that Tom Wilson? Everyone's favorite guy they don't they uh, like to hate. We just spent the last minute just trying to get the puck out of our own zone. They're trying to commit to the puck being out of our zone, because now it's officially in their zone, but they have possession still. No? Alright, uh, I mean, that's your call, I guess, there, bud. I mean, I thought we were doing pretty good. Alright, I'm looking at my, my... So my OBS is doing fine. Uh, but it says my... My stream preview... On, uh, stream... On Stream Manager Dashboard says I am, uh, it's just, like, spinning. Like, it doesn't know what to do. Like, it doesn't know it's supposed to preview the stream. So I'm not sure if that's doing anything wrong or not. Or, uh, what's happening. Yep, that's just bad. And he's gonna freeze that. Of course he's gonna freeze it. Why wouldn't you freeze it? Come on. Alright, we got this, boys. Dude, drop the puck. Alright, come on. Oop, come on. Oh, not a bad shot. Ben with it? Ah, Ben loses it. There we go. It's a big hits late in that period. Ends that period out on a big note. That's what you like to see. All right, Mercy, we don't need a Mercy. What we need a Mercy rule for in hockey? Like, come on, let the kids play. Let them play. Let them punch each other in the face a few times. It's all right if there's a few chicklets on the field. The Zen bonus for they'll clean them up. Oh, that's not the right bounce. How do you not? There we go. For a check. Sagan can't get it. Uh, for check. I mean, Sagan did his best. I mean, too much space for the puck to travel, unfortunately. Klingberg to Dennis the Menace is going to dump that one in because we're just going to get ran into the wall. Dude, Sagan's playing defensively inept. Uh, Jakob Voracek is defensively inept still. Of course, the one-timer. Uh, why, why, why is every time a goal is allowed that breaks up usually a shutout, it's always a one-timer? Every time. Jump too early. Come on. There we go. No. Nope. We're... Come on. Oh, no, no. Oh, Lindell with that. That's Tom Wilson. I hope so, because we can hit him harder. Grunstrom Morgan. Uh, no incidental contact right there. We just run through his stick, and his stick is totally fine. Oh, that's super wide. There we go. Stammer. I think it's his nickname. Ooh, that's high. Thera shed out here. It's gonna force a little dump pass right there. It's a little physical. And he gets physically laid out right there. I don't think that's um uh what's this not the not the uh not Devin Taves, the uh Taves from the Jonathan Taves, that's his name. 
I don't think that's Jonathan. I think that's Devin Taves on um this team. I think one player that I try and trade for, though, in all honesty, I try and trade for probably Patrick Kane. Uh, I mean, it's been a couple seasons since we've had Patrick Kane. I mean, it's been, what, two... It's, no, we had NHL 19. We had him with our Flyers. Uh, we didn't have him in 20. And if we did, we had him for just such a little bit of time. We had him uh, where he just wasn't a... Wasn't long enough for us to remember us having him. Oh, tough D. Why are we why do we crash the net on that all the time? Like, no need to crash the net, dude. Just just chill. Just be you, brother. No, nah, we're just Alright. High skin in. Oh, almost got five holder right there. A little bit of deflection goal right there. Five hold him out of out of laughed. Out of chuckled out loud. Out of out of literally enjoyed that a lot. If that happened. No, nope, not a great shot at all. Alright. Minute. Yeah. Uh who's out here? I'm gonna try and do something. Um, not sure what lines out there. Uh, strategy? No, not strategy. Uh, lines. I saw Sagan was out there. Let's throw Rochette out there. Hopefully, we can get him a goal. Oh, it's Faxa. Oh, we were on the right line, too. We were on the right line to begin with. And we messed it up, so I thought I saw Tyler Sagan taking the face off. Dude, 10th of season for Jakob Vorchak. You like to see that for the longtime flyer. All right, that's just unfortunate. Dude, what could have been the first goal of a young man's career turns out to be another goal for a very old man's career. Oh, Dickinson gets robbed. Nice kick save right there by uh, Elvis. Oh, there we go. Nice, uh, nice icing right there. That's what you like to see, boys. Boys, girls. Non-binary kings, queens. Uh, but as we wrap up this episode, guys, if you guys do like pack openings, definitely check out our Chance Bishops Breaks pack opening channel. For those on YouTube, uh, link will be in the description down below. For those on Twitch, YouTube. Uh, YouTube.com slash Chance Bishops Breaks. We don't have a hyperlink set up yet for it, but we're going to set it up in the near future just to make everything super simple, super clean. Uh, just like our super quick link to go to YouTube. Subscribe to us on YouTube from Twitch. Uh, but link to tw our Twitch is down in the description below. Link to our Chance Bishop Breaks is in the uh, description down below. So just a bunch of stuff in the description down below for everyone on YouTube. Blah, 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 brand new content every Monday and Friday on that channel. So if you guys are into pack openings, you guys like Pokemon, you guys like sports, check it out as we open up. Yeah, like I said, twice weekly content on that channel every Monday and Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We also have Askarov picks up the third star, 21 shots, uh, one's, uh, uh, 20 for 21. Rupe hints one goal, one assist for the second star of the game. Jamie Ben's going to be first star of the game, right? He's got to be first star of the game. There's, like, no way Jamie Ben isn't the first star of the game. It's just how it's going to go. Yeah, Jamie Ben, first star of the game. Two goals, no assist, no hits for the longtime captain of this Dallas Stars team. I'd like to see that right there. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, that like button, comment down below. Your favorite part of this was, and text on YouTube, though. 
Peace out. Rock on. Stay super classy and have a great day, I guess. I don't, uh, I don't know.